How's it going guys and welcome back. In this video, we're going to be checking out the location of all the collectibles for the Mermelayer in the Spongebob remake. The first collectible we're going to encounter is going to be one of Patrick's socks, which can be found relatively close to the start of the level. The first time we encounter one of these cowboy robots, which we have to chase up the stairs, at the top of the staircase, we're going to come across the first of these contraptions that we have to hit with the Bolin Bobble ability to spin around the platform. What we want to do is spin this as far as it will go all the way around to the right, and then walk to the end of this platform, and we'll be able to use SpongeBob to bungee dive down, finding the first of Patrick's socks. The next collectible is going to be the first of the golden spatulas in this level, which is almost unmissable. As soon as we're about to leave the first room and head into the main chamber, it's going to be right here in plain sight. In this next big room, the first thing we're going to do is head to the bus stop just over here to our right and switch over to Patrick. And now we're controlling Patrick, we want to pick up the watermelon and hit all three of these different switches over here on the right hand side, and then come back and talk to Mermaid Man and he will give us the next golden spatula. While still controlling Patrick, pay the clam to unlock the catapult, and here, use the catapult to get to the upper level. On the upper level, Barnacle Boy is going to ask us to help solve this puzzle. I will leave the full duration of the puzzle being solved here in the background, just in case you want to copy along with the gameplay. Remember, if you screw up, you can always press the switch to reset everything back to zero, in case you want to restart from scratch. Now once we have solved the puzzle, we want to jump back across and speak to Barnacle Boy again, and he will give us the next golden spatula. Also, just to the left of Barnacle Boy, we're going to see the next of the collectibles, which is going to be Security Switch number 1. So we'll go ahead and hit that. Now go down the slide and switch back to Spongebob. Here, instead of taking the right path towards the bus station, we're going to go over to the left hand side and use the Bowling Bubble ability to climb up these platforms. Make sure when you go up the first platform, hit the switch on the left hand side here to higher up the jumping walls in the back. Then continue climbing up and on the next platform, make sure you do the same thing to activate the other jumping wall so we can progress further forwards. Once we're at the top, go down the slide, but remember once you get to the bottom of the slide, you want to do a double jump to pick up the sock floating in the middle of the center platform. Now hit the bubble bowling switch in the middle of the room and continue across the conveyor belts until we get to the other side. Do the wall jumps to get to the top. And here again, almost unmissable, is going to be the fourth golden spatula, which can be found just waiting for us in front of the main computer. After we finish speaking with the main computer, check to the right and we'll be able to find the second security switch. Now continue going through the tunnels until we'll eventually come to this room with another one of the robot cowboys. And in this room, pay the clam the shinies we need to get to the upper level. And here carefully go across the treadmills until we get all the way across to the other side of the cave where we'll find the third of Patrick's socks. Use the trampoline to get back across to where the clam is, and again, almost unmissable, we'll find the fifth golden spatula just before we exit out of this room. Also, just below this golden spatula, before we exit this room, we'll be able to find the third of the security switches. As soon as we enter the next room, which is going to be the rolling ball area, we want to climb up to the left and go all the way to the wooden plank where we have to sort of jolt it around. And behind this, we're going to find the fourth of Patrick's socks. Now for the sixth golden spatula, we will need to complete the ball, let's call it puzzle, I suppose. To do this, it's fairly straightforward and easy. All we need to do is use the bubble bowling ability up this ramp to make the ball drop down. And here we simply need to follow along the pathway of the ball by pressing the contraptions as they go to make sure the ball doesn't fall down from its pathway at any point. For the most part, it's really, really simple. As you can see, just make sure you get the timings right in all of them. Except this last bit where the wooden plank is, that can be the only part that sometimes gets a bit iffy, which can be frustrating as it's the final part of the entire puzzle. And if it falls down there, you're kind of screwed and you have to start again, which can be a little bit time consuming. But assuming that part goes right, the rest of it should be absolutely fine. And once the ball falls down into the final tube, you want to go over here to the fan and hit the fan with the bowling bobble ability again. 
and this will reveal the sixth golden spatula underneath the glass casing. Immediately behind this golden spatula, we're going to also find security switch number four. Now we've activated all four security switches, we want to go back to the main computer room and if we speak with the main computer, it will award us with golden spatula number seven. Now also, by activating all four of the security switches and speaking with the main computer, in the same room as the computer itself, just before we head into the tunnels, the new pathway over here to our right will have opened up so we can cross over to the other side. By doing so, we'll get to the boss room, so simply go ahead and defeat the boss, which is pretty straightforward, and this will give us the 8th and final golden spatula for this level. So I hope you did find this video helpful guys, if you did, don't forget that thumbs up button, subscribe for more content coming very soon, and we'll see you next time.